Alright guys, it's that time again. Back with your humble choice for now December. I had to work today, so I didn't get to do it until really late at night, so a lot of you probably have a chance to look at all these, but let's go over them because I like to do that. We've got Overcooked 2 with the Too Many Cooks and Surf and Turf Pack. Now, I already have Overcooked 2. The game is fantastic. Um, so, I, I don't know if I'll be able to use this one or not. Um, I used to play this with uh, my daughters and uh, someone else that I would love to play with all of them again at some point in time because it was a great game. We had lots of fun. Uh, next game up is Children of Morta, which I also have already. It is really interesting um, roguelite um, with really cool level pro level progression as well as um, uh, storyline. Storyline is really, really great, honestly. But it's a dungeon crawler. Um, I got pretty far in it and I just kind of picked up something else because, hey, that's what happens when you're a gamer, right? <laughs> but I would, you know, this is a good, good opportunity. Um, we've got One Step from Eden. I have not played this game, but I have actually heard quite a bit about it. It is a puzzle game. Um, as it says here, it says One Step from Eden combines strategic deck building and real-time action with rogue-like elements, giving you the chance to carve a path of mercy or destruction. Fight alone or with a friend in co-op as you cast powerful spells on the fly. Battle evolving enemies and collect game-changing artifacts. Can you make it to Eden or will your destruction be imminent? Um, it seems really interesting. I probably will try to play it a little bit, maybe put up a video of it because, I, you know, that's what I do. Um, but it does seem interesting. It's been on my radar for a little bit. We've got The Beast Inside. Um, I have not played this, but I have actually watched... Uh, uh, CJU play it, one of the predominant horror gamers on YouTube. Um, if you haven't seen him, you should. He's pretty good. Um, he got a, a lot more um, followers than I do, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> uh, but a pretty interesting horror game. Um, uh, I, I kind of like the story. The story's pretty good. The gameplay's kind of meh, but the story's really good, so I might play this one too, just for myself. We got Indivisible, which, hey, if you've already looked, there is a playthrough a little bit of this. It should be on my um, on my channel. Um, I have played this. I actually really do enjoy this. I have not beat it yet because I kind of got off track because of work and everything else. Um, I need to go ahead and get back into it, but I have not done that yet. Um, we've got Shining Resonance Refrain. Um, I have seen some stuff, but I have not actually played it, played it or anything else. It looks to be your regular RPG, um, action RPG fair. Um, I do love RPGs, horribly so. They're kind of my favorite thing ever. Um, but let's read what it has to say. <clears throat> Play as Yuma Ilvern and stop the Empire from exploiting the power of the ancient dragons, including the soul of the shining dragon within you. With the help of your friends, realize your destiny, save Astoria, and unleash the strength you've always had locked away. In the original game, previously released only in Japan, Imperial Princess Excella was an unplayable character, but in the new Refrain mode in Shining Resonance Refrain, both she and Dragon Slayer genus can be added as party members for a new experience just be sure to save this for your second playthrough to avoid any spoilers as an added bonus all ugh, all the extra cosmetic items and side quests are included in the remaster sorry perp <clears throat> dragons were long thought to be extinct and because yuma holds the ability to transform into the shining dragon he was taken as captive of the empire with help of the dragoneers sonia princess of astoria pleads with yuma to aid them in their fight to save their land from the empire's domain dominion typically timid will yuma find the courage to realize the strength he has within him that does sound really interesting uh, what is this? Zway Argus Adventure Launch uh, trailer, I guess. I have no idea what this is. Uh, this looks kind of like um, an RPG as well. 
Yeah, it looks like an old school RPG. Almost like Zelda like. All right. Okay. Uh, Pokal and Papira are two step siblings living uh, by themselves in the Ho Hum village of Puck on the time forgotten floating continent of Ar Argus. These are these A names for these fantasy worlds are kind of out there. Uh, Paco loves making terrible puns and wears a tail for funsies, and Papiro loves buying fashionable clothes and has no filter whatsoever. Together, they me meander through what seems to be a peaceful, monotonous existence in their sleepy little burg where nothing interesting ever happens. Until something does. Anyway, a masked figure f uh, shows up one night and steals six holy idols from the local shrine. The self-proclaimed Archduke of Argus tends tenders a hefty reward for their return and are brave... Duo jumps at the chance to find them. Paco for the glory and Papyrus strictly for the cash monies. So it's kind of like a comedy too. All right. That seems really interesting. And then we have uh, another uh, Zwei. Um, pilot, treasure hunter, and courier Ragnar Valentine lives a life of adventure flying the high skies of Grand Valen. But on a routine delivery to the remote floating continent of Ilvard, he finds himself ambushed by two dragon riding ne'er do wells who send this, his plane spiraling to the ground. Two playable characters and tag team action. Interesting. Food based experience system gives greater control over leveling. Alright. But yeah, this is another RPG that seems. Uh, a little bit more hefty than the other Zwei. So, interesting. We've got Tabletop Playground. Okay. Okay, this is, this looks interesting. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's community-made board games. Okay, yeah. That's definitely a plus. Get you some friends and play some chess. Or, what is that, D&D? That would be awesome. But, yeah, okay. That's all, that is very awesome. Pretty cool stuff right there, guys. Couldn't say much about it, because, I mean, obviously, it's just board games. Uh, what have we got? <clears throat> Super Hot presents Frog Detective Number 1, The Haunted Island. Okay, is this a point? This must be a point-and-click um, adventure game, but this is a short game. One hour estimated completion time. Oh, that sounds perfect, doesn't it? Uh, cool features. A frog. Lots of new friends to meet. Amazing and nice original soundtrack. A great time to be had. So yes, I will probably make a video of this one. Um, we also have a second one. Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. So if this one's... A, a, it is a one hour estimated completion time. So I will probably also be making a video of this one. Just because I love short games that have meaningful stories in them. And that does seem pretty cool. We've got Still There. I think I've actually played this on mobile before. Or maybe not. Seems interesting, but... It's a puzzle game, it looks like. Still There is a story-driven psychological adventure game about lingering grief, technical puzzles, wacky AIs, and dark humor. Evade the past and welcome oblivion. Make the perfect Italian coffee. Okay. I'm 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 hooked. I'll probably play a little bit of this too. I really like these. I really like the short indie games that you can get sometimes on here, just because of, you know, good short games for a relatively low price point are fantastic. Let's like assembly with assemble with care. Amazing game. Uh, we've got Struggling, which I have actually seen some people play this, but it's much better when you play with friends. So, uh, struggling is a physics-based co-op platformer with a twisted spin on teamwork. Control the arms of Squishy Abomination and guide it through a deranged world where anything goes. Outrun ravenous rats, jaw ride a dirt bike, and vault over pools of unmentionable waste. One thing's for certain, you will struggle. Um, it seems rather interesting. It looks a lot... Um, there's a there's a there's another game where you play like a rock guy, but you only control yourself. This one you control one one half of the body, another person controls the other half, which is really cool. I don't have any friends though, so we've got Path of Giants. All right, that looks like an interesting little platformer. Um, guide three explorers, Burn, Machi, and Tach on their quest for a lost treasure through icy caverns and snow-covered cliffs. Swap between the explorers and use their teamwork to help solve the puzzles. 
Each level is carefully designed and handcrafted to create chillingly beautiful scenes and combined with a charming original score composed by Clark Abod evokes a sense of calm as you explore this long forgotten area of the world. All right, cool. And those are the games right now that we have. There's a lot more games than normal here. Um, I don't know if they're giving you the option to get all of them like they have been, uh, but, or if they're just like, hey, there's more, so you can only pick your designated um, cost amount. Um, we do have an extra DRE, DRM free game, which is The Corridor, which I can't really show you that until I actually get into it. Some of these games look really cool. Um, the games I'm probably going to go ahead and get are Eden, Beast, Both Wise, Shining Ref uh, Refrain, Tabletop Playground, Frog 1, Frog 2, still there, definitely. Um, probably struggling in Path of Giants. Since I already have Indivisible and Overcooked and Children of Morta, I don't really need it. Um, so if they do give me all the games for you know, some reason like they have been lately, I will probably just save it for a giveaway. But, you know, you, you never know. But those are your games for your humble choice for December. Um, hopefully you enjoy them. Leave a comment if what games you're liking to play. Otherwise, always be kind to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.